Hey everybody, Van Berman here. Welcome to part six of Fun Hunty Noi. We're entering the depths of the. Oh no, we're not the. Uh, <clears throat> maybe we will this time. I think the game's having a bit of one of its paddies again regarding the uh, mouse movement. Yeah, okay. The transition between in game backgrounds and cinematic. I gotta say, it looks absolutely terrible at high resolution. I'm not gonna lie. Right. Let's see what's going on here then. Sorry about my voice, by the way. I've not been up for a huge amount of time. And. Yeah, just trying to do an episode before I have to go and work. So. Mucho apologizos. Uh, por favor, I don't know. <clears throat> okay, so. What I'm planning on doing later. No, I can't even see any of the characters. What I'm planning on doing later on is potentially when I have obviously more frequent random battles. I mean, the, the for this bit is not not bad at all. I'll then start skipping over them. Obviously, maybe like the first time I fight a certain enemy, we'll just go with it. Just play through the battle, just so you can see how the enemy fights and stuff like that. But other than that, we'll just. Uh, Probably just skip through it. Maybe we do a transition over it or fast forward through it. We'll have to see. So, yeah, there was the flying plant monster thing. Oh, wait, this is another plant monster thing, but it's in the ground. This is the master. <clears throat> it's almost like it knows someone's going to come and try and rescue it. And it has to be evil enough to uh, keep it captive. That you can handle him on your own. <laughs> Come on, Steiner, you're part of a team. Or eventually. Do, 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 do. That little mouth is freaky. Like, really freaky. Okay, so let's try sword magic. Sword magic! Two hundred and fifty-two. Got to say, that's pretty impressive. That's so much VB's fired just by itself now. Oh, well, darkness did. That's one thing I think they they haven't done enough of. Is like the combination between two characters. I know we're probably going to get more of that in fifteen. What I gather. Yeah, World and Shiner. Oh wow, he's got thunder. <clears throat> oh wow, he's got thunder. Bloody hell, Blank, I'm glad you're here. Because the Dane just got absolutely wrecked. Oh yeah, I forgot how much health Phoenix Down didn't give you. <laughs> Oh dear. He should be okay, I would have thought. We'll probably be here now, but anyway, I'll just give him a potion. Potion yourself, Zidane. Or let him attack you. That would also be really useful if you did that. Oh yeah, that's really useful. Literally, pretty much just used all my Phoenix Downs. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, what the heck is going on? Uh. Right, okay. I'm not gonna lie, that was a little bit embarrassing. In fact, that was really embarrassing. Hey, oh, great. Thanks, game. That is such a troll. Such a troll. Give her the stuff. You seen how Zidane's... Or Steiner's clipping through Zidane there? Hmm. Oh. 
Oh, it's those buggers. Oh, I've not even got any health. Now, at least I can actually heal now, sort of. This is horrendous. I'm getting spanked. Right, we've got to run away from these guys because they're looking to attack me. There are some battles in here. Some of it's like pretty scripted. You sort of run into them. But at least we've got Blank in the party anyway. He's always a good lad. Yeah, there you go. Sort of like, yeah, lets you run, but actually, as soon as you move, you're in battle. So, here we go. Oh, I've got there were four of them. They move really weird as well. Fire sword. You can tell that it's not likely to be very good for Blank's longevity when he actually doesn't have any. Um, oh, what's it called? A transfer. I think Blank probably one of my favourite characters that was never actually a main character. Run and Blank, good work. That tricks you by levelling him up, levelling him up even. But there's more than this one random battle. Something's wrong. Hey, you don't say. I see more evidence. Like literally sacrifice himself to save the day effectively. There you go. <laughs> Monkey. Harsh. So yeah, <clears throat> there you go. That was the demise of Blink, unfortunately. 
band hadn't abducted the princess. When we get back to Alexandria, I will... Nope. Stan just got schooled. <clears throat> It's like a mini game now of Steiner just fighting off a load of enemies by himself. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. Hopefully, they fully healed me, which is the main thing I was worried about. going to a cavern now. Oh no, it's a Moogle. Oh, it's Monty. He escaped, hooray. To just warn you, I'm definitely skipping through all of this. Oh no! No! Okay. Yeah, basically, I know all that stuff, so I'm not gonna go for it. Oh, we have a flute. <laughs> Moogle's flute. You can call us anywhere in the world and press X to play it. So I was like, what the heck? <laughs> I think he was actually sleeping. By the looks of things. Your friend's already less. <laughs> oh, it tickles me. Okay, so this has been the first time we've seen the world map. Call our Moogles and, and switch perspective and all that load of good stuff. So, yes, this is the. Oh, well. For intents and purposes, this is the world map. We obviously can't go back into the evil forest because it's sort of petrified. As you would expect. Um, the only place we can actually go, I believe, is the ice cavern. I don't think there's even anywhere else in this area, particular world area, that we can go to. Fairly convenient, obviously, but... What the heck are those things? Oh, yeah, they're the um, rat foxtail monster fools. Oh, no, I've done auto something. Right, you can speed up the battle if you want to. Oh, don't tell me auto attacks as well. No. Are you serious? You can press one button and it will auto play out the battle for you. Uh. 
Wow. Wow. Finally, I level up. Needed that. A lot of people aren't really keen on the Final Fantasy IX way of doing the level up and all that stuff. It's, to me, it's not really such a big thing, but... There you go. So, we're going to save the Ice Coven for the next, ga the, the next game. The next time. Coming next on Final Fantasy VII. The Bumblebee Inn. No, not really. Honeybee Inn, anyway, isn't it? <laughs> My bad. Right. Anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. Sorry it's been a bit of a short episode. We'll do, obviously, probably do the full Ice Cavern the next time. And we'll go from there. Thank you for watching. See you all very soon.